What makes a young, apparently faithful member of the National Front change his mind so completely that he decides to become an informant for anti-Nazi campaigners? People always want to know what is the road to Damascus moment, but there were a number of things over a period of time. Given the opportunity, the far right will always turn it into violence, and so we, we fought our way into a meeting and in there just attacked a lot of ordinary, you know, just ordinary, mainly women, who were having a meeting about, you know, the the dangers of racism and fascism. And there, and there it was on their very, very doorstep. It wasn't just indiscriminate violence that repelled Matthew, but the dirty secret hidden by the National Front leadership. When you see close up what happens inside these organisations, the way they treat people, the way they ignore huge things, uh, you know, things like trade unionism or the class issue, they, you know, they, they refuse to engage, engage on that. And these are basically, groups like the BNP are basically run by people who've never done a hard day's work in their life and they have a working class membership given the money. And so I just gradually, you know, not immediately, but gradually began to see that I was probably on the wrong side. There's a lot of interest in the far right uh, at the moment, but one of the things is, to be realistic about it, is that the far right's actually in decline, you know. That doesn't mean Matthew Collins is about to end his campaigning work. One central message of his book is to stay vigilant and expose the BNP wherever they appear. Tim Lezard, Union News.